हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एजुकेटर्स प्लस सो आज की वीडियो में हम लोग जो टॉपिक डिस्कस करने वाले हैं दैट इज वॉलकैनिक इडप्शन सो बेसिकली वॉलकैनिक इडप्शन आर पार्ट ऑफ योर एन टी एंड पेपर फर्स्ट यूनिट नाइन दैट इज पीपल डेवलपमेंट एंड एनवायरमेंट सो एनवायरमेंट यूनिट के ज्यादातर टॉपिक्स हमने अपनी प्रीवियस वीडियोज में डिस्कस कर लिए हैं सो इफ यू वॉन्ट आप जाके वो वीडियोज को चैनल पर जाके चेकआउट कर सकते हैं so now let's start with the session and uh, before that i would like to inform you guys that educators plus ki google play pe app available hai so if you want aap jaake aapko download kar sakte hain wahan aapko paid courses milenge jisme videos and live sessions hain ebooks available hain sare topics ke upar both in hindi and english medium mock test series available hai cbt mode ke upar same nta replica pattern pe complete study material ko provide kiya ja raha hai based on new pattern and also live interactive sessions hain for doubt clearing and for more details you can always check the description box of the video so now let's start with the topic that is volcanic eruption so dekhiye ek volcano hota kya hai dekhiye jo volcano hota hai that is a kind of vent or we can say a fissure in earth's crust now this is done through lava ash rocks and gases eruption now jo active volcano hota hai wo ek aisa volcano hota hai jisme se eruption hota hai or it has you know Uh, erupted in the recent past. So basically, जो volcano होता है वो एक opening होती है in the earth crust through which gases, molten rocks, materials such as lava, ash, steam, etc. are emitted outward in the course of a uh, course of an eruption. Now ये जो vents होते हैं या openings होती हैं they basically occur in those parts of the earth's crust जहाँ पे जो rock strata होता है वो relatively weak होता है So volcanic activity जो होती है that is an example of endogenic process apart from that depending upon the explosive nature of the volcano different landforms form hoti hain to uh, for example agar uh, plateau form hua hai so uh, it will be resulted if the volcano is not explosive and uh, in case of a mountain uh, it, it will be if the volcano is explosive in nature so now let's study that how uh, so now let's see that how volcano is formed now what is the process behind the formation of volcano dekhi jo majority of volcano hote hain in the world they are formed along the boundaries of the earth's tectonic plates now basically massive expanses of our planet's lithosphere that continued that continually shift bumping into one another now jab ye tectonic plates collide karti hain they often plunges deep below the other in what uh, we known as subduction zone so as the descending land mass sinks deep into the earth temperature jo hota hai aur jo pressure hota hai wo climb karta hai right increase karta hai and it releases water from the rocks now the water slightly reduces the melting point of the overlying rock right and it forms the magma that can work its way to the surface now this this is the spark of life to reawaken a slumbering volcano now uh, this there is also one thing to remember that not all volcanoes are related to subduction so jo dusra tarika hai volcanoes uh, volcanoes ka form hone ka that is known as hot spot volcanism so is situation mein kya hota hai is situation mein there is a zone of magmatic activity or we can say a hot spot in the middle of a tectonic plate that can push up through the crust to form a volcano now although uh, the hot spot itself is thought to be a largely stationary the tectonic plates continue uh, their slow march building a line of volcanoes or islands on the surface now this mechanism is now this mechanism is thought to be behind the hawaii volcanic chain now let's discuss about there is a slightly difference between magma and lava so now let's discuss the difference bit, uh, between magma and lava so jo magma hota hai that is the term used to denote the molten rocks yeah, and it is related to materials seen inside the earth right and a weaker zone of the mantle called uh, as asthenosphere and it is usually uh, the source of magma now once this magma came out of the earth surface through vent of a volcano then it is called as a lava so therefore lava is nothing but the magma on the earth's surface so jo process hota hai by which solid liquid and gaseous material escape from the earth's interior to the surface of the earth usko kaha jata hai volcanism which isko hum log further is video mein aage ja ke discuss karenge now before volcanism we must uh, uh, you know discuss about ki what are the types of volcanoes kitne types ke volcanoes hote hain 
सो वॉलकैनोज आर क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस कि उनका क्या नेचर होता है इरप्शन का एंड ऑल्सो ऑन द फॉर्म ऑफ द डेवलप्ड एट द सरफेस सो पहला है दैट इज शील्ड वॉल कैनोज सो देखिए इन्हें कैसे आप आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे दे आर नॉट वेरी स्टीप बट आर फार एंड वाइडर एंड दे एक्सटेंड टू अ ग्रेट हाइट एज वेल एज डिस्टेंस और यू नो दे आर द लार्जेस्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉल कैनोज इन द वर्ल्ड एज एज द लावा फ्लोज टू अ फार डिस्टेंस द हवाइन वॉल कैनोज यू नो आर द मोस्ट फेमस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ शील्ड वॉल कैनोज नो शील्ड वॉल कैनोज क्या होता है दे हैव अ लो स्लोप एंड इट कंजिस्ट ऑलमोस्ट एंटायरली ऑफ फ्रोजन लावास अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू वर टू फ्लाई ओवर अ टॉप ऑफ अ शील्ड वॉल कैनो इट वुड रिजेंबल अ वॉरियर्स शील्ड हैंस द नेम इज शील्ड वॉल कैनो नो दीज वॉल कैनोज आर मोस्टली मेड अप ऑफ बेसॉल्ट अ टाइप ऑफ लावा दैट इज वेरी फ्लूड वेन इरप्टेड एंड फॉर दिस रीजन ओनली दीज वॉल कैनोज आर नॉट वेरी स्टीप no they are uh, no basically they are uh, of low explosive in general but if somehow water gets into the vent they may turn explosive then the next is cinder cone volcanoes so cinders are extrusive igneous rocks and they are more modern name uh, for cinder in and uh, a more modern name for cinder is scoria Uh, so basically these are small volcanoes these volcanoes consist almost entirely of loose grainy cinders and almost no lava apart from that they have a very steep sides and usually have a small crater on top then the next type of volcanoes are comp- uh, composite volcanoes so basically inka jo shape hota hai inka shape hota hai cone shape mein hote hain with moderately steep sides and sometimes have small craters in their summits Apart from that, volcan uh, volcanologists call these strato, or we can say composite volcanoes, because they consist of layers of solid lava, which flows mixed uh, with layers of sand or gravel-like volcanic rock called cinders or volcanic ash. Now they are characterized by the eruption of a cooler and more viscous lava than basalt. Apart from that, these volcanoes often result in explosive eruptions. Now, along with lava, large quantities of pyroclastic materials and ashes find their way to the ground, and this material accumulates in the vicinity of the vent openings and leading to the formation of layers. And this makes the mountain appears as a composite volcanoes. Then the next type of volcanoes are caldera. So they are the most explosive of the Earth's volcanoes. they are usually so explosive that when they erupt they tend to collapse on themselves rather than building any tall structure now the collapsed depression are called as calderas so their explosiveness indicates that iska jo magma chamber hota hai wo bahut large hota hai and it is in very close vicinity further jo caldera hota hai that differs from crater in such a way that uh, the caldera is a huge depression which is caused by a collapse after a large scale eruption whereas if we talk about a crater so crater is a small steep side volcanic depression bored out by an eruptive plume uh, so these were the types of volcanoes now let's also discuss about volcanism dekhi volcanism kya hai volcanism ek aisa phenomena hai which is referred to as eruption of molten rock magma onto the surface of the earth right so basically on earth volcanism happens in many different geological settings now most most of these are associated with the boundaries of the enormous rigid plates that make up uh, the crust and upper mantle so jo majority hoti hai of all uh, active terrestrial volcanoes roughly by 80% and related phenomena occur where two tectonic plates converge and one overrides the other forcing it down into the mantle to be reabsorbed Now, basically, volcanism को हम लोग डिफाइन कर सकते हैं एज अ इग्नियस एक्टिविटी विच इंक्लूड्स द फॉलोइंग द फर्स्ट इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मैगमा द सेकेंड इज अपर्ड मूवमेंट ऑफ मैगमा द थर्ड इज इजेक्शन ऑफ द सर्फेस एंड द थर्ड इज इजेक्शन ऑन द सर्फेस देन द थर्ड इज इजेक्शन ऑन द सर्फेस एंड द फोर्थ इज कूलिंग एंड सॉलिडिफिकेशन सो एज पर द मूवमेंट ऑफ मैगमा वॉलकैनिज्म कैन बी फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन टू two types these are both intrusive and active volcanism so agar hum log intrusive volcanism ki baat kare so it is when magma is forced into the rocks that make up the earth's crust now when it cools and becomes solid while still underground different features called plutons are formed and the rock formed is an intrusive igneous rock now if we talk about extrusive volcanism so jo molten magma 
होता है अंडर ग्रेट प्रेशर फोर्सेस इट्स वे थ्रू द फिशर ऑफ अंडरग्राउंड रॉक्स एंड इट रीचेस द अर्थ सरफेस सो द फॉर्मेशन इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस वॉल्कैनिक मूवमेंट फॉर्म्स एन इग्नियस एक्सट्रूशन Now let's also discuss that what are the measures to mitigate volcanic disaster. So one of the most effective ways of reducing the risk of volcanic eruption is having an evacuation plan. So this involves ensuring evacuation strategies that are in place along with emergency shelter and food supplies being planned. Apart from that based on monit- monitoring data exclusion zo- zones uh, can be set up to ensure that people are evacuated from areas likely to be affected before an eruption. Then the next is that local people can also be educated about actions they can take to reduce the risk of loss of life or injury. Apart from that people are taught that if they are unable to evacuate it what they should do to protect themselves. Example to go indoors to avoid uh, falling ash and rock. So yes this was all for today's video I hope you find this video helpful then please do subscribe to our channel like share and comment and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos thank you